Bacteria tend to grow at a relatively quick rate, and it doesn't take long before they consume all of the food and nutrients provided by the media inside of the test tube. In order to make sure they continue to survive, we have to transfer a small number of bacteria every day into a new test tube. In the case of our experiment, in which we only want to transfer the bacteria that are really good at forming biofilm, we transfer only the bacteria that have been able to stick to the bead into a new evolution tube containing fresh media in a new plastic bead. There are a lot of steps involved in the process of a daily bead transfer, so it can be useful to have different students in your group complete different tasks. The evolution tube should be removed from the roller drum inside of the incubator following 24 hours of growth. These tubes should then be brought back over to your lab bench so you can complete the bead transfers. As described previously, your forceps are held into the flame of a Bunsen burner and held there until the tips of the forceps get red hot. Now that these forceps are sterile, make sure they do not come in contact with anything until after the bead has been transferred as sterilely as possible into the new media tube. While one student is sterilizing the forceps, another student can gently pour the contents of the evolution tube into the cap. Make sure that whenever you're removing a cap from a test tube, you touch just the upper portion of the cap to be as sterile as possible. Put the previously sterilized forceps into the media inside of the cap. You might hear a sizzle. This is normal and it indicates that the forceps are still very hot from being put in the flame. If this occurs, do not touch the bead because the heat from the forceps will kill the bacteria on the bead. Once the sizzling has subsided, tip the cap towards you as this will allow the bead to move to the side of the cap that is closest to you. As gently as possible so that you do not disrupt any of the biofilm on the bead, grab the bead with the forceps and place it in a new test tube containing fresh media in an oppositely marked bead. For example, if you remove a white bead, ensure that you are placing it into a test tube containing fresh media in a black bead. The new evolution tube will then be placed back on the roller drum in the incubator and allowed to grow for 24 hours. The following day, the process of transfers will be repeated, but this time the black bead will be moved into a new tube containing fresh media and a white bead.